Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're watching some more Supernatural Rats Season 10 Episode 11 and this one is titled No Place Like Home. So as usual very excited to get back into it so that's what we're gonna do. Charlie. She's been making donations to her aliases. Charlie's coming Charlie back. Are we going to Oz? It's a nice house. I don't know anything else. I know. I'm gonna torture you anyway. Charlie! Who doesn't love a little torture? What? What's that? You made egg white omelets and breakfast and champions. You know, if you're a dork like you. And you slept past seven. Oh, well, until we get answers on this market cane, I am on a 12 step program not to backslide. 12 mm -hmm. steps. I haven't had a drink in a week. Eight hours of rag time every night. Now this masterpiece. That's three steps. It should have been eight. <laughs> wow, that's, that's awesome. It's crap. Who do we get rid of this demonic tramp stamp? I am back on the booze, burgers, and more booze. <laughs> Tell me you got something. Dean is gonna drink something green? <laughs> what the hell? Kane or Crowley? Charlie. Is she back from Oz? She can call? Yeah, uh... He's torturing she's people. Busy. What do you say? Charlie tortured someone? Our Charlie. Love yeah, the uh, hair. Heard this article, he was the only person in town that was hit. Uh, a court stenographer was assaulted the night before. Not that much different. She could be hunting. Hmm. But he was. He's human. Someone. Oh, is it something to do with her mom? I don't know. Was he like the drunk driver? Who is? Was it a drunk what? driver? It was a car accident. Yeah, Dean put that away. Did you notice anything? Just at home here, getting ready for bed, and that crazy bitch jumped me. And whoa. All she wanted to know is about some case that I worked on years ago. A drunk driver T-boned another car, killing the driver. And the he defended him? Or her? The scene. Well, then you know the case that went to trial. Before I could even see the evidence, it was off the books. All the files were sealed. How is that even possible? A social service file on the Middleton's kid. It's not very helpful, to be honest with you. The kid has disappeared until now. Is there anything else you can remember? Uh, it was so long ago. I'm sorry. Full of shit. Now she said the attacker didn't let her go until she gave up a name. What name did you give up? Look, I told you everything I told the police. This woman comes in here, beats the tar to me, but, but there's no name to give up, so I, I don't know what else to... Hey! What, what are you doing? I'm the... You Dude. son of a bitch! Hey, look, I'm the victim here! Talk! <laughs> All right. Sam is like after the files were sealed, <laughs> I pushed. And uh, they offered me money. A lot of money. Give me a name. In from overseas accounts. Give me a name! I will be disbarred. That will be the least of your worries. The judge? Oh no, he's a lawyer? Councilwoman Barbara Cordray. Celeste Middleton. Celeste. That's Charlie's real name. Oh. She's looking after the person who, uh. Barbara Cordray? Can I help you? We have some questions about a drunk driving case from a while back involving the Middleton family. I have no idea what you're talking Going about. Going somewhere, ma'am? Sorry, I'm still on vacation. Feel free to schedule an appointment with my assistant. She'll pencil you both in. Guilty much? Yeah. What the hell is pale? Anti-authority disorder, clinical depression, violent outbursts. Charlie was, uh, the shrink interviewed us at that age. You think the report would be all kittens and rainbows? Come on, she's a good kid. There's gotta be an explanation for this, man. There's just gotta be. Mm-hmm. 
It's cool because he keeps um, putting himself in her shoes. You know, it's the second time that he's like, well, wouldn't you go after the people who destroyed your family? And then he's like, come on. We would also have a, a weird little report. Oh, Charlie. Should have known Rocket and Groot would track me down. What happened to her? How happy you and Oz? Yeah. Everything I wanted. An adventure. All good guy code, no bite. What a waste. And you. Always letting this albatross hold you back. Okay, all right, you know what? <laughs> oh, it's me, all right. Charlie, put the knife down. Let her go. We don't want to hurt you, kiddo, but we're not going to let you do this. <laughs> Stop. What? Jiu-jitsu! Sam! <laughs> Sam! Sam, help me! Oh my god, what happened to her? Oh, no! Oh, I thought she was stealing the car. Oh, Charlie. You son of a bitch. Some sort of a ninja? She is a badass, yeah. I made a deal with a wizard. A boss. Wears a hood, a creepy mask, kind of a jerk. Good times. I had to unleash my true darkness, which he meant literally. If you hurt her, you hurt me. But bottom line, she's bad and I'm good. And let me just tell you, being good is really annoying. Normally at a place uh. like this, I'd be checking out the bartender's ass. Yeah. <laughs> All I want to do is sip club soda and send her to college. <laughs> okay, uh, good. So... Dark Charlie, gun for revenge. It's she like, to we need to... Dark Charlie, I keep calling her she, but she's me. I'm mm. the one doing this. Charlie, it's not who you are, okay? It's a, it's a twisted version of... Me. Dark me broke the key. There's no way to get back to the wizard. We need you. To hack into Barbara's bank accounts. She's not gonna want to do can't. it. What? It's bad. I told you, being good is annoying. Hey, handsome. <gasps> this is him. This is the man who. Uh... Meh. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Took your parents Sam. away. Yep. Hey, dudes, dudes. <laughs> Secrets are bad. She's so, so cute. Around us. He's a crap salesman. And, and I don't think that finding Dark Charlie and locking her up is going to work. I mean, she may be dark, but she's still a part of you. You need that part to be you. And that's You're the right. lesson that Dean is going to have to learn. You're right. Isn't it? All right, you guys dig into that. I'm going to keep an eye on Russell and uh, wait for Dark Charlie to show up. I mean, or we could Maybe separate Dean. No, 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 no. I got it. So, but no. I just can't believe that. Is he okay? No. Uh, I'll tell you on the way. He's quieting your mind. He's minding you quiet. Know and understand. The lack of an answer is this. Mm hmm. <laughs> Mr. Presley. Yes, yeah, hi. Uh, Presley. Actually, I know you're really into this article on the mammogram. Riveting stuff that somebody else wants to build. Is that it for the day? Yes, sir. Okay, you can head out. Uh, I need my uh, dry cleaning taken to the lake house and uh, pick up Pepper and take her to the dog groomers, okay? Yes, sir. Thank Please. You. Mr. He said Preston. thank you, but I mean... Let me describe my dream home. The men of letters gave Clive a new name, new house, both of which are still listed. 
I think Clive might still be alive. Clive is alive. He's close by. Let's go look. If he's still kicking, he's the only person who might be able to fix the key to Oz. All right, let's go. We're not bringing the key? No, I'm not saying that. Judging from your cheap shoes and your faded jeans, I'm guessing the only house you're in the market for comes with wheels. Now, look, I'm a busy man. My time is extremely valuable. I'm willing to buy if you're willing to sell. So why don't you show me what you got? Well, I can show you the door. Who the hell do you think you are? The guy's gonna save your life. You. Excuse me? Be it. Hill and Oak Street on their way to pick up their little daughter from a slumber party. Now ring a bell. We know about you, I, Russell. I, I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, no, you wouldn't, because you were too drunk to remember anything that night. I think you have me confused with somebody else. Or somebody that cares. Or maybe you got me fucked up. Pay people off. You're insane. Stay here. Do not leave this room. Charlie. Oh, kiddo, you don't want to do this. I don't want to hurt him. I want him to see my face. I want him to see what he did to me. I think she's gonna hit you, Dean. Nope. Oh, she has another. She's like, yeah. No one's called me that in a long, long time. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You took everything from me. I'm so sorry. Russell, I forgive you. Good. Got to Russell. She killed him. Oh my god. Did you guys find a way back to Oz? Maybe. Uh, look, the, the man of letters who originally found the key, he's still alive. That's pretty dark. Are you gonna stare at that all night? I'm basing myself. She's cute. You lied to me. You lied to yourself. That's kind of your move. Something's off about you, though, isn't it? It's always something with you boys. I mean, he got what he deserved. You know I'm right. You know what I learned about being dark? It sets you free. And part of you knows that's right, too. Hello? Clive Dillon? No. I'm Michael. My name is Michael Carter, right. But it was Clive Dillon, wasn't it? <laughs> that's just a fairy tale. It's best left on the bookshelves where it belongs. So, you've never seen this before? All right, you got me. Delicious. All right, listen, dark Charlie. Oh, grow up. There's no right, there's no wrong, there's just us and them. Yeah. All right, dark Charlie. Well, there's a find the wizard and put you back to where you belong. Back into Charlie. Is that where I belong? We'll just see, won't we? If you're not gonna ask her to dance, then I will. You just told her where they were going. What happened? My friend strike out. Your friend? She just left out the back door. Mm. Come on, Dean. You're smarter than that. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, you son of a bitch. Mm hmm. He was pretty slow on that one. He told her exactly where they were going. Dick Charlie just hotwired baby. She thinks she's on her way to you. What? I told her the wrong town, so okay. probably bought you a little time, but uh, just be on the lookout. I'll be there as soon as I can jack a ride. Thanks. They used the inner key on me, unleashed my head, killed all the witches, oh. went into a tantrum. He's power hungry. He became the Wizard of Oz. Nothing less, huh? There may well be a way to summon him here. If I am mortally wounded, he'll have to come back here to save us both. Wait, uh, wait, wait. Maybe it's time that both of us answer for our sins. It's the good thing to do, right? Uh, right. I don't know. Uh, Michael? Clive? 
How the hell? She followed him. Figured you'd lie about where to go next. That's what I would do. You take one more step, I'm gonna put you down. There's the Dean I love. Oh. Hmm. What have you done, you fool? <laughs> Well, oh. you hit like a girl who never learned how to hit. Damn, she's strong. Up. We are going to fix this. I'm not letting what happened to me happen to you. But it's already happened. Can you find a way to live with it? Right. After centuries of murder. Yeah, well, there's one thing that you have that he didn't. Friends? You're a Winchester. Oh. I forgive you, Dean. Yeah, what I don't. Can you move? <laughs> oh, yeah. How's it working out for you, huh? I'm so sorry, Cal. Then prove it. Be careful out there. Does that sound like either of me? If I find something, I'll call. If not, I'll just keep digging. Charlie, thank you. Are we even there, cheap bitches? She's right, Dean. You can do this. We can do this. And let's get to work. Alright, what a great episode. I'm not surprised uh, that it was a Charlie episode, but it was also a big Dean episode because what was happening to Charlie was very much relevant to what is going on with Dean right now, right? We had the completely good Charlie and we had the completely dark Charlie. And uh, I love what she said in the end because she was like, now... Well, she's quiet. I'm not bad. I'm not completely good. I'm just balanced. And she's probably still dealing with what Dark Charlie did because she killed someone, right? And uh, the way she was saying, you know, we're we're still connected. We're, we're the same person. So if you hurt her, you hurt me. Like, we're the same. We're supposed to be merged. And I think it's, uh, it's what's going on with uh, Dean, right? And I don't know, but I get a feeling that, you know, this ending, when he was like at the bar, he looked at his hand and his hand was shaking. And then in the end here, he looked at his hand and it was steady. It wasn't shaking. So I don't know, but this happened right after Charlie, for like she told him, I forgive you. So this, because we know it's a big thing with Dean, right? He's... He always blames himself. He he can't... Like, he'll justify every other person's actions. 
let's say with um with sam right when he was possessed by an angel and then the angel killed kevin he would like tell him that wasn't you da 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 but then what he did when he was a demon that wasn't him truly or at least that wasn't like his normal self but he will not allow himself to forgive himself for stuff that he did when he wasn't truly himself you know but when she said i forgive you you could see on his face that like i don't know it did something it felt good but then he immediately said well i don't forgive myself so is he gonna have to i don't know forgive himself for to make himself feel better or just have people tell him i forgive you i don't know but he could that makes me think that he could be doing this to himself kind of like the guilt it's eating him up inside and it just makes him feel bad and he just i don't know there's a lot going on or he's gonna have to learn how to live with that darkness it'll take time but um yeah dark charlie was a badass and it was kind of cool to see her play that role you know because we're so used to charlie being this bubbly and just like you know her good her good self kind of was the same as her balanced self just a little less like oh no that's bad i can't do that i can't hack into this but she was still like her persona was very much bubbly and uh, i love that now she's gonna go and research uh whatever they lead they found you know that book because she doesn't want what happened to her to happen to dean because we saw dean completely dark and that's dangerous that is a very dangerous thing i i really love this episode and it makes me uh, to see dean throughout the episode just dealing with his own darkness and the way that the mark is affecting him i feel like even without the mark he pretty much like it's not a new thing for him to blame himself and to have some darkness it's just that you know the way they 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 said i think it was the guy michael who referred to the dark part of himself as the id and i think that's a very good way to put it you know just desire just to want stuff and we saw that dean it's basically what the mark is doing to him you know he wants to eat have sex and now we saw that he was very much trying to control keep himself under control with like meditation or whatever eating healthy not consuming alcohol so yeah if we don't find a way to get the mark off i think it'll be him just learning to live with his darkness after years i guess or just him becoming not okay but just that he stops blaming himself for every single thing and the things that he did when he wasn't truly himself so i'm very uh, curious to see how this all resolves and how we get to like take the mark off because i think it's such a it's so like personal to dean that i have a hard time believing that just a spell would do the trick you know just a spell and the mark is off okay i think he's gonna have to like some inner work something is gonna have to happen he's gonna have to i don't know forgive himself for every single thing that he blames himself for and that would do him some good he could use that that would be like such a big relief i'm not saying that he's just gonna be carefree but at least for stuff that you couldn't control like <sighs> give yourself a break you know yeah that's great oh my god love charlie as usual and i kind of feel bad for sam or jared i guess because i feel like he's becoming kind of a side character you know we're focusing a lot on dean and i'm not complaining i'm just saying that 
what's going on with Sam? Like, I feel like he's just there. The show is more centered around Dean. Because I, I don't know, his character is just so great. I'm not saying that Sam's isn't, but I think Dean's is just... There's something about his character that is very interesting. Now, I'm not talking about his looks. I'm really talking about his character and the way he plays it. I think he's better. But yeah, still love Sam with all my heart. So I hope you guys enjoyed. That was season 10, episode 11. There's no place like home. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you for the next one. Thank you so much for watching.